Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at the new build of Windows 10 Mobile. This is build 10149 that was released overnight for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. And as Microsoft get closer to the final versions, uh, things are starting to look a lot better as well. So in this video, I'm just going to have a quick look at some of the changes in this release. So, first thing you'll notice is Project Spartan is gone, Internet Explorer is gone, and the new name for Project Spartan, the final name, is Microsoft Edge. And that's the new browser. You saw the new animation there as well, we'll have a look at that in a sec. So this is Project Spartan, uh, now called Microsoft Edge, the new browser, and you notice the address bar is down here at the bottom, where it was in Windows Phone 8.1, and I think it works much better for phones to have it down there so it's good to see that that back so I'll show you that animation again if I can get to do it you see how it slides away like that that is definitely new now the other thing that's um, new in this build really is it's more general refinements and user interface fixes so you probably can't really tell too much in this video but it's a lot sharper the, the text on the pinned items look sharper and everything looks a lot cleaner as well so I think that looks quite nice and uh, as you've seen with the animations as well, the whole visual look of the OS seems better. If I go to another app, you can see that. The music and the uh, video apps are a later build than the one that was on the last release. Um, although I should, can't see a huge amount of changes, let's see, yeah still that some of the sections aren't complete yet. Noticed here on the um, action center, there's some new things on there. See quiet hours in there. It's flashing away all the time. I'm not quite sure why that is because we're not in quiet hours at the moment. But we'll have a look at that in with Cortana in a sec. Uh, if you've got a phone with a flash on it, there's a flashlight button up on here. Uh, this 630 doesn't have that, so that's why you can't see that. See, there's a note button there, which will probably okay. It needs an app, but we can have that to go to one note. You see here over on uh, the settings as well, everything looks a lot clearer and easier to read and maybe it's with the uh, the de navigation design and the, the the fonts and everything that they've got, everything looks much tidier and you notice also it's much quicker if you watch some of the videos from earlier builds on our YouTube channel you'll see that you'll see a big difference, there's still some text issues on there. Uh, so okay, well, so the photo app has been updated. This now supports animated GIFs. Um, if you've got a phone with one gig or higher, this is a 512 uh, 630, so that won't have show in here, but they will show uh, on other phones. And this update, they say, includes performance and reliability updates. It's uh, just loading those in for the first time now, and uh, yeah, it seems as fast as the previous builds, but. Actually, everything feels faster than previous builds, I've got to say. Uh, what else have we got? Camera upload on uh, OneDrive. Let's have a quick look at that. So there's the camera upload option, and we've got that turned off, but we can turn it back on. Now, the other thing Microsoft say is that uh, Cortana, again, has been improved. Let's have a quick look at that. And uh, they say this time your profile and settings are into one experience, and so quiet hours are now part of that. Let's have a look. So if we go into the notebook here in Cortana, you can see you've got quiet hours settings on there. And all this has been cleaned up quite nicely actually with the new UI on there. So that's definitely looking better. I showed you this before, so I've, added, I've installed um, OneNote now. So if you click on the note, it takes you straight to uh, OneNote, which I think is really good. So um, you can even ask you which section you want to go straight to. And you can have a note straight away from that uh, button on the taskbar, which is a nice, quick, fast way of getting into it. Action Center, I should say, not taskbar. Now, the other thing is Cortana. Supposedly, you can send emails from Cortana now. So let's give that a try. Send a new email to Ian Dixon. What's your email about? Testing. What do you want to say? Windows 10 looking good. I'll email Ian Dixon about testing. Saying Windows 10 looking good. Send it, add more, or 
will make changes. Send it. Send it. I've sent it. So there you go, there we can send email straight from Cortana, subject, message, the whole lot. I think that's pretty good actually, and that's a really nice integration of Cortana. There are a few bugs in this build, you can see with the release notes, I'll include those on the digitallife.com, and there's a few things that fix, like the um, podcast app. But overall, I think this is looking really good, and uh, a lot of progress made by Microsoft, and I think this is getting close to where you can install it on your, on your daily machine. Um, looking very good so far. So more videos on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com.